به حفلنا هذا وملتقانا المبارك آي من الذكر الحكيم إنه مشروع كبير لي أن أقف أمام هذا الحضور الكريم إرقاء هذه الكلمة نيابة عن زملائي الفائزين بجائزة الكويت لعام 2000 السابق بأن يتواصل تميز مع طائرهم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. القدرات البحرية الوطنية ثانيا وتوجيهها نحو أولويات التنمية كانت الكويت حريصة على الانتقال إلى دولة حديثة تبني أجيالها وتنهض باقتصادها بالعلوم والتكنولوجيا والابتكار. لذا أنشأت المؤسسة في عام 1900 صادقة من قيادات شركات القطاع الخاص المساهمة والتي ما زالت تواصل تقديم الدعم والتمويل المقدر والمشكور لكامل أنشطة المؤسسة كجزء من مسؤوليتها المتميز في مجال نشر تعليم الفتيات في ثلاثة وثلاثين دولة أفريقية يتفضل باقي أعضاء المنتدى بالصعود إلى المنصة للمشاركة لأخذ صورة تذكارية مع ممثل راعي الحفل سمو نائب الأمير وولي العهد الشيخ نواف الأحمد الجابر الصباح حفظه الله ورعاه يتفضل حائز جائزة سميط للنزول من المنصة والآن يتشرف الدكتور عدنان أحمد شهاب الدين يتفضل باقي اعضاء المنتدى بالصعود الى المنصه للمشاركه لاخذ صوره تذكاريه مع ممثل راعي الحفل لسمو نائب الامير وولي العهد الشيخ نواف الاحمد الجابر الصباح حفظه الله ورعاه. يتفضل حائز جائزه تسميه للنزول من المنصه. والان يتشرف الدكتور عدنان احمد شهاب الدين المدير العام لمؤسسه الكويت للتقدم العلمي We are very excited about this prize and I would like to take this opportunity to thank the Board of Trustees of the ASMED Prize and just to assure them that they've invested in the right organization, an organization that is leading education development in the continent and therefore will put it to good use. We want to say thank you so much for trusting in us. 
Thank you so much for thinking about the African women and girls out there because they need this support to be able to contribute to the economic development of the continent. The Ausmaid Prize is really a catalyst in investment, especially to Forum for African Women Educationalists, because you are investing in an organization that is a champion for girls and women education in Africa. And we believe that this prize will go a long way in creating initiatives that will ensure that women and girls are actually given the space on the development agenda for Africa. We are already doing so much. I believe this is the reason why we've been recognized. But there is a lot more that needs to be done. And so we feel this investment will go a long way in making sure that the emerging issues are actually are addressed, but also just making sure that the organization continues to exist. We, because we're still relevant to the development of the continent. So the investment is perfect at the right time for the Forum for African Women Educationalists. Well, I feel the Ausmed Prize as an initiative to catalyze uh, investment in African continent in particular is an excellent idea. Excellent in the sense that, first of all, you are investing in an organization like the Forum for African Women Educationalists, who are the champions of women and girls' education, who are ensuring that issues of women and girls are given priority on the development agenda, and therefore giving us um, the prize of one million will certainly go a long way, one, to make sure that we continue to push the girls and women's agenda on the African uh, development, but two, that will also ensure that the girls and women out there who are more than 50% of the population in Africa are given the opportunity to enjoy the right to education. And unless the women and girls are given that, development may slack behind. Winning the Asmite Prize will certainly help us, or is already helping us, number one, in terms of publicity. Everybody is talking about us. It has created a lot of awareness of the models that we have uh, invested in so far. It has also created opportunities for other partners to see the good work that we've been doing in the last uh, 25 years. But we also see opportunities for new partners coming on board because they believe in what we do. And I believe with this awareness, they'll be able to contribute to making things happen. Yeah. So for us, it's a very exciting moment. It's a present that we are getting when we are celebrating 25 years of our existence. So we'll certainly shout it out so that more people can come on board and support the work that we do. FAWE, the Forum for Women, for African Women Educationalists, is very grateful and is very happy, feels privileged to have been recognized by the Al Sumaid Prize um, in the work that we do in education. We feel again privileged to join the group of people who have been so recognized globally. And this global recognition has a lot of impact for the current work we are doing for our future existence and for our future impacts. Uh, of course, currently we are basking in the joy of receiving the Al Sumaid Prize, but we are also very conscious of how it transcends the immediate and affects the future. FAWE is a Pan-African organization. We are operating in 33 African countries. We operate through our chapters, and therefore the publicity, the global publicity that this prize, that this Al Sumaid Prize gives us is very, very important. This award is not just an award, one more award that recognizes one more body. We need to think of it in terms of its Pan-Africanist impact. And therefore, we are, we are very, very excited that we can make this kind of impact through this Al Sumaid Award. On the African continent, we need to get many more people into school, boys and girls. However, the situation is that we have girls dropping out at various stages to the extent that if I were to give a visual representation, we may look at a funnel turned upside down where the base is broad and as you move up, you see less and less girls. There are reasons that account for these. And the importance of FAWE is to identify these challenges, find ways of, of removing these challenges to ensure that girls do not just go to school, but that they stay in school, they learn, they excel, because we know that they are capable. 
they are very, very capable. Even without some of these uh, opportunities to learn, to acquire skills, we know the kind of work that they do on the continent. So we know that should they get this, the continent will be even better off. FAWE works to turn this around so that we can, we can affect the cycles of poverty, we can affect the cycles of ignorance, of illiteracy, and all these factors that lead to, um, to um, upsetting the real aims of education, which is creating peace.